good afternoon everybody it's monday oh my goodness i was about to say thursday i'm really it's definitely not thursday it is monday afternoon it's been a classic hair wash day just gone very slowly like every hair wash day when i have no other obligation to be anywhere or do anything to be fair it started off relatively fast and then i kind of took like a break from getting ready for the day after I edited my vlog and then when I was about to get up and get in the shower to wash my hair I just wanted a cuddle and I don't say no to that <laughs> so had a cuddle and that's what's effectively delayed me this morning it is the start of a new week I'm feeling a little bit more energised last week I felt a bit burnt out and a bit like I don't know how else to describe it other than like floppy and just like I just had no energy, um, unfortunately. <laughs> this week I'm already feeling a little bit better. I was a little groggy when I woke up, but um, I think I'm all good. I need to start getting some bits and bobs read up on uh, regarding job related bits and bobs. I've got some job stuff coming up theoretically tomorrow uh, and also on Wednesday. Uh, I have some stuff to read up for and prep and that's kind of going to be the focus of my week this week so I'd like to do a little bit of that this afternoon but yeah that's that's kind of my Monday it's quite warm I think we're having one more heat wave before going into the autumn weather I can't remember what the forecast said let me have a look uh, actually it's not that warm it's only in the late teens early 20s I, I think it's just because it's very sunny. <laughs> it feels a lot warmer than it is. It's definitely not been overly productive. Normally Monday, I'm, I'm on top of things and I get things done quite quickly and I get lots of stuff done. Not so much today, but that's okay. It's fine. Like I said, I've just got a couple of things I need to read up on. I could do that tomorrow. I'm gonna start it today to ease my workload tomorrow. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've got going for me on this fine Monday morning and then Monday morning, it's lunchtime, Monday lunchtime. And then we are going to Chris's for the evening um, and we've got spag bowl for dinner, I believe, tonight. So that's super exciting. Love a bit of spag bowl at Chris's. But yeah, it's lunchtime now and I'm going to go grab my lunch. I remember being told I should eat something some leftovers but I can't remember what it was I'll have to look in the fridge and figure it out I am gonna go have lunch do some reading and then I'm gonna head over to Chris's but I'm gonna hug this girl all day mummy she's now fast asleep and could not care less that I'm here typical good evening it's later we're at Chris's I I'm cooking dinner um, on my own, unsupervised. It's never a good idea. In case you haven't noticed by watching these vlogs, I am not the chef in our relationship. Chris is very much the chef. He enjoys cooking, he finds it relaxing. I, I get stressed when I cook. I just automatically assume there's a right way of doing things um, and that I'm doing it wrong, which isn't strictly true there's not really a one right way of cooking but uh yeah i just don't cook very much i don't enjoy it i don't have a calling to do it either but tonight i was like you know what chris is in a german lesson get off the spoon chris is in a german lesson um between six and seven normally we eat at about seven ish and i was like you know what i'm gonna at least get dinner started and at least get the mince going we're having spag bowl we're doing a big bulk bowl so we're gonna have some tonight um and then some tomorrow night as well i haven't actually established whether i'm eating here or not I presume i'm eating here so we're making like four portions basically which is fine so that's why there's loads of mints and not just like we don't we don't eat as much Generally when we cook, we try and cook for at least one portion of lunch the next day for Chris. Um, so that he has something to eat. There are geese. There's been so many geese flying around recently. Migration season. Uh, but yeah. 
I'm just cooking. I just thought I would update you to let you know that I haven't burnt the house down yet. <laughs> got my onions chopped. Got my salt, pepper and garlic there to add in. I'm looking at the onions now and thinking I might want to add more onions. That's half an onion there. I, I feel like I should add the other half to be quite honest with you. Mm. I'll see how I go. I'll, I'll show you the finished product. But right now, I just, I don't know. I had an urge today to like prove to myself that I could somewhat cook uh, without supervision. <laughs> okay, this looks mostly done. I'm gonna turn on the heat a teeny tiny bit. It's actually, we're also not having spag. It's penne. I'm having penne bowl. It's been a very chill afternoon. Didn't get up to that much. I did perk up after lunch though. I was a bit groggy this morning. After lunch I was feeling much much better and um, did get some job related reading done which was very good and I feel like that's what's motivated me to cook dinner. <laughs> I don't know. It's a very small thing but it's one of those adulting things that I normally leave to Chris or do with Chris and don't do on my own. But I've got friends on in the background and yeah, I'm just, I'm having, I'm having a good, having a good day. We're accomplishing small things today. Even if it's as simple as cooking dinner. We take, we take the little achievements. I'm gonna put you back in my bag now because I'm tired of carrying you and I want to add things to my mints. I did it. George did it all by herself. I did it all by myself and I didn't burn the house down. The only thing I forgot was the garlic bread. It's quite a big thing, don't get me wrong. But, <laughs> but we got past it. He was only mildly upset with me for it. You can't open the cheese, can you? It's a weird thing, we need to cut it and then you need to like open it. Yeah. So, so But yeah, that is our evening. I've made penny bowl. Uh, five portions, two for dinner, one for Chris's lunch tomorrow, and two for tomorrow's dinner. In day. Uh... <laughs> I feel accomplished. I had to use the uh, olive oil instead of the sunflower oil because I couldn't open the bottle. I spent like five minutes trying to open it and that was the only other oil available really. We are now gonna sit down, have our penne bowl, um, we're still watching Friends because it's just one of those shows that's always on and I haven't watched it properly in a very long time so I like having it on in the background but I think we're gonna watch we've got Parks and Rec we've got probably uh, some form of YouTube Let's Play um, Parks and Rec? Yeah! Parks and Rec, we're powering through it What are we on now? Season 5? Halfway through Season 5? There's seven seasons, so we're coming to an end soon. But yeah, it's been a really good day, actually. Yeah, what? Oh, Benny, good ladies. <laughs> it started off a bit slow. I was a bit uncertain. I felt a bit groggy and out of it. But going into the afternoon, I perked up. I did lots of reading, job-related reading, which is good. And then I came here and I made us dinner. And I'm quite chuffed. I'm not gonna lie. I am. See, I'm getting a job and learning how to be a housewife, so if anything, either way, we're gonna be alright. It feels wrong saying that. What? You're a housewife. Oh. You learn how to cook. Yeah, come home from work, right? I want that to be bag full, ready for me, right? Baby, we both know you're the cook. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just the substitute when you're unavailable. No, I'm not taking it anymore. <laughs> you love cooking. Yeah, no, it's bad. <laughs> right. Let's get our garlic bread. Sit down, wash some pots and wreck. Sit down. <laughs> Chris is in a weird mood. Thank you very much for watching everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.